Hi guys, today we're at the Bet Show and we're here to check out the latest technology. Hopefully we'll see some robots. Come with me and check it out. How's it going, Callum? Good. Yeah? Good. What do you think of what do you think of Sam so far? It's good. Yeah? Is there anything you want to know more about it? Um, yeah, what inspired you to start your business? Um, I wanted to make an easy way to start teaching kids about coding and how to allow them to understand how the world is built around us and then how to start creating things to maybe build their own companies and their own products. And um, uh, how new is this technology? So it's based on existing technology. What's new is the whole approach to teaching programming. Do you want to see how they work? Okay. Yeah? All right, so do you know what this is? A button. That's very good. Yeah, it's a button. So to use the button, why don't you grab this on the, on the button here on the interface? Yeah, that's it. So now press a few times on the button. Look what happens on the screen. You see it's being pressed on the screen as well. Yeah. So now we're going to connect this button with this light here. To do this, just grab the light over here and put it on the interface as well. Yeah, that's it. Now, to connect this button to this light, you got it. Now, if you press on the button, the light turns on. And now, if I just change it to 200 milliseconds, now you can keep your finger down on the button. Makes you rotate. But let's make it so that you only have to press one. So why don't you scroll this way and find, yeah, scroll. More, more, more. All the way. Scroll all the way. And grab this one. Oh, we'll just pass it. The toggle block, this one, yeah. And put it here in between the button and the and the interval. Yeah, here. Now if you if you press on the button. Then it goes. It goes and it works on its own. And choose the compare block, go inside. Yeah, the gear. And now choose a value of four. So if you put in a value of four here and just press enter, it's on. Actually, we chose a value of three. Sorry, I'm just put three. Press, and if you press done, now if you press three times on the button, we'll see that number go up here, because it's animated, and it turns on. If you press another time, because it's no longer exactly equal to three, it stops. What do you think? It's really cool. Yeah? Is it simple to use, do you think? Because of Camibot. Tell us a bit about yourself. So, yes, uh, our product uh, this robot is called the Camibot, and then this is uh, we giving the education for the coding. Yeah. So, we have uh, four apps available for to download either I iOS and Android. So, once you for the young age, you can use the, this Kami card, and then mm -hmm. this is connected by Bluetooth. Once you click the Bluetooth sign, the color change to the blue, it means it's connected. And then you can give it in order, how would you like to, you know, move into your robot. And then once you do the play, and it's moving like this. And then if you, and also we do have the curriculum to learn. And then if you, if you learn about the Kami part, you can move to the Kami block. Which is you can do the scratch. Have you heard about scratch? Can you do the scratch? Um, yeah. Yes. Yeah, so this is just exactly the same as the scratch app, but we have our own app. So you can download it. You can give it an order, and then press the this button. Then Camibo will move. But we do have over 40 characters, which you can download from our website. Then it will be changed to like this. Is that one of the characters? Yes, those are the characters and Gundam and things like that. So, you know, kids like some characters so they can download and then they can make it themselves as well. So, um, my name is uh, Nick Provenzano. Um, I am a, a middle school technology teacher in the United States. Uh, I'm on Twitter, at the Nerdy Teacher, so I, I work with a lot of teachers all across the country. And one of the things I do is work with uh, teachers and students about how to use Cano in the classroom. So, so you built this? Oh, I, I didn't take credit for building it, no. I had a lot, lot, lot of great hard workers uh, at Cano that built it. So I'm a teacher, so I work with them to help say, hey, this is what we need, this is what we want to see. And so then I help other students and teachers use it. So 
one of the great ways that it's been used is that we had students that come to our makerspace and a student said hey I really want to make uh, something what can you help me with I said well do you want to make art she said absolutely and then she I said do you want to make art with code and she goes what you can do that I said absolutely so I sat her down and we started to work with the code to actually make art and what was exciting for her was that she was able to learn all of these uh, shapes and sizes through geometry by using the code and another student used Minecraft to recreate pyramids uh, and tombs after his unit in Egypt. And then I had a class of math students that were using uh, Scratch to uh, understand the XY coordinates on a plane. And then by doing that, they were making their own arcade games. Thank you very much and good luck with your business. How did you start? Um, well, I went to Butlins when I was four years old. I saw a robot and really, he really inspired me. He was quite big. Okay. Oh, wow. And now, do you build robots? Yeah, or? I teach them how to build and code robots. Wow. So basically we're gonna have a football match, okay? And you have to shoot two days one, I shoot Should I put one. it this way first? Sure, yeah. Wait. Alright, start. Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> oh, I nearly got it in. Oh, I'm not gonna let anyone get in my goal. Yes. Oh. Uh, so oh, the ball's there. The ball's there. Uh, what inspired you to start your business? Well, the the reason is that we want to have a very fun robot to help uh, students to learn how to do coding, robotics, and learning Python, IoT, different things. Okay. It looks really cool. Can you show us how one works? Yeah, of course. Uh, I would like to show you a new product which is called Cody Rocky. Uh, this little guy is called Cody. Uh, it's a robot that you can program with all kinds of different things. Uh, you can easily connect it to your laptop. And then you will be able to control your character when you press a B and the running runs. Yes. And when you press A, the panda will start to jump. Yeah. And the goal is to eat the ball there. So what's the goal? The goal is to eat the ball. Hit so it, hit it. Hit it, yes. You have to hold the button A and it will keep jumping. Yes. And then you got quite a lot of balls. It's quite cool. Soon yeah. I'm and the even cooler thing is that you can program everything yourself using Scratch programming here. Here we got a electric guitar. So oh, wow. can I borrow your hands? Yes. Yeah. Can you hold one here? Yeah, touch it. And here can you touch different metal parts? Yeah, that's yeah. really cool. And now I'm gonna do another experiment. Can you hold it here? Yes. And I'm gonna hold your hand. Yeah. And it still works. Because we are connected as a circle. Yeah. Thank you, that was epic. Thank you for coming here. So, Professor Tony, what inspired you to get the idea of building a robotic bunny? Well, uh, we wanted to make something that was like an animal, but also looks like a robot. Yeah. So people don't get confused and think it is a, a bunny but also they know it's going to be like an animal and not like a person. Yeah, because I've seen some like electronic animals, like electronic gorillas sometimes. Yeah, there are some uh, robot toys that are really like cats. Yeah. But they just do some simple, really reflexive stereotype behavior. That's, yeah. That, but we wanted to do one that really thinks for itself and decides what it's going to do yeah. and has intentions and emotions. So let me, let me show you how it works. So these are cameras, yeah? 
Yeah. Oh, it's closed his eyes. These are cameras. And both eyes. And then these are microphones. And then... Yeah, I can see. Yeah. And then this is, an, you know, ultrasound? Yeah. So that's an ultrasound sensor. These are infrared. You know, like, uh, so distance detectors. They and send then her name is Ada. This one's called Ada, yeah. And then we also have um, the lights in the body. And the lights show um, our emotional state. So when, when it's green, that means that we're, she's happy. And uh, we stroke it back like that, or behind her ears. This, this is where she has touch sensors, you can sort of see them. Yeah. Then she wags her tail because she's really happy. Tell me about the vegetables. This is what I call true innovation. Well, obviously this is a little a kit that you can play with music with a vegetable. And who doesn't like to play uh, music with a little bit of coding? So when you tap it, it makes noise. Mm -hmm. Well, you, so what you need to do, you need to be connected to any conductive object such as vegetables. And then as you touch it, it sends a little electronic signal through the board to make a sound. So when you press this one, the cat starts moving. Exactly. So it also works, you can connect to the scratch, uh, and then depends on how you program it, you can make it as a keyboard as you would with a uh, regular keyboard. Hello. And now all you're going to do is hit play. Watch, watch. You did it. Hi guys, we just came out of the bet show. There was some cool technology there. See you next year.